Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday, and there's a piece of advice I learned, or I heard, I should say, uh, in regards to streaming. What? Because I was, you know, if, if you recall last episode of Bloodborne, I was talking about, you know, why. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Uh, I was talking about why I, that was such a long wind up. I was talking about why I got rid of my stream schedule and how that was it just kind of felt like a big deal to me because I, I just really wanted to stick to it. Um, no, don't sit. <laughs> um, there was a piece of advice that I have heard. I don't remember which streamer said it. I think it might have been Ludwig. Uh, but essentially what he said was if you're trying to become a streamer, don't do it by just streaming. Try to get big elsewhere first and then transfer that over to streams. Steps, which makes me nervous. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I think that might have been the problem is I, I started streaming too early. Yeah, I, I mean, ultimately that lines up with what I said before about how, you know, I, I feel I would do much better when, if I had an audience. <laughs> Praise you. Praise the old damn church. Mm -hmm. Best of luck, Hudson. Best luck of all. Nice. <laughs> Praise you. Okay. Cool. Uh, since we're relatively safe here, I do want to check out the attire that I got. Black church hat. That is blood and arcane defense up. Poison resist up. Significantly less frenzy re resistance and less eh, beasthood. Okay. Cool. All right, black church garb. Oh, that's a lot of blue numbers. Oh, I might need to <laughs> equip this actually. Not a whole lot of frenzy resist, but if I run into frenzy, I can probably switch back. Uh, Surgical long gloves, was that what I got? That does seem to fit the, the mold here. But I don't think it's actually better than what I have. Okay, uh, and then black church trousers. Blood defense and arcane up, better against poisons. The thing is, I feel like I just got through the area with all the poisons, so. It's a little, a little strange I would think to Don this now. It's less blunt resistance. Uh, that's four blues and one red. Uh, 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 let's see. How much? It's only 10 lower. Or 3 red. 4 blues, 3 red. Uh, um, yeah, okay, I think. I think this is probably worth doing. Okay. Yeah. Ow. Dick. Who's here? 
Who am I fighting? Okay, no, it's just the guy shooting at me. Okay. Oh, okay. Now there are guys. Okay, hold on. I'm going to back up to a spot where hopefully... Ow, Mr. Rifleman. Ow, can't hit me. Fuck. It's a bad time to try to heal. That's fine. You know what? It's fine. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, building a presence on a different platform first. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. Hello. Oh, hello, dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Uh huh. Thank you. I am in your debt. Oh, got a curtsy. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I can't imagine what to offer. All I can give is my blood. But would you even take a whore's blood? Sure. Oh, good. Come close, dear. Don't worry, I've done this before. Hmm. <laughs> blood of Ariana. Oh, hello. Sorry, dear. You much have only so much. What does what does that do? What does the blood of Ariana do? Heals HP and temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed. Oh, that's cool. All right, <sighs> neat. Uh, okay. So yeah. Also, again, going back to the subject of streaming, building a presence. I have something coming up. I've been talking about it a bunch. Uh, the 50 subscriber special will change my content very significantly. So, my hope is that once I do that special, then, then, maybe I'll have enough of a presence to start streaming again. Because, uh, again, I, yeah, I don't feel like it's, it's hard to stream without an audience, I think. So I would hope. Also, one thing that's probably not helping me is the, the time slot during which I stream. Uh, and that's the thing is, it's the only time that I can stream, really. Because it's the only time that I'm not working and not sleeping, basically, and not recording for this channel. I don't have a lot of spare time aside, or at least I didn't before I made this decision about the schedule. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the deal, I guess. I forgot about you. Yeah. See, so yeah, I... Got caught on a corner. Shit. Fuck. Oh, there's another one too, huh? There we go. Okay. Oh, do you have my souls? Or echoes? Do you have a gun? Come on, you knew that wasn't going to hit. Alright, wasn't even that many echoes, but I'll take them. Uh, yeah. So, in summary, there will be more streams. It's just... They'll be here and there and everywhere. And not at a specific time. Well, I mean, they'll probably still be in that same time slot. It's just, but yeah, the time slot's a little inconvenient for most people, but uh, it's really all I can do for now. What? Okay. Theoretically, I could. 
could get a different shift at work and then that would change things, but I would have to I would lose my shift differential so I'd be making less money per hour and that would be kind of lame because hey, guess what? Money is also a concern while I uh, am not making money from this. So, yeah, that's it. Ow, fuck, shit. I gotta wonder, I gotta wonder. How many people watching Ow are really interested in listening to me talk about the uh, the behind the scenes sort of stuff? Because I know I like listening to people talk about it. But that's the thing. Am I just that strange? Am I am I that strange in that sense? There's a raven somewhere. It's up there. Got it. Am I strange in that sense that I like listening to people talk about Because even, even before YouTube and streaming and stuff, I like to listen to like the director's commentary on, uh, on DVDs and stuff. I always thought that kind of stuff was interesting too. But I guess, I guess there have to be more people like me, right? If you're watching this, I'm gonna guess, and you've watched to this point in the episode, you probably are like that, I would guess. I don't know. I will say that it's kind of funny. What's this say? A watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. The sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. Got it. This is a nice little view on this area here. Uh, I will say, being a film and media studies student, you learn a lot about the history of the film industry and television and stuff like that. You know, you learn a lot about the history of those industries. And I do, I do notice some similarities between where I'm at and I, I again, I'm not trying to say I'm on on the same level as these people, but where I'm at and where the, uh, what they called the movie brats were. Wait, where are the guys that were here normally? Huh, that's weird. But there are some similarities between me and the movie brats of Hollywood, like the people who started making movies in like the, the 40s, 50s, 60s time frame. No, no, it was later than that. It was like, ow. It was like the 60s, 70s, 80s, right? We're talking like George Lucas, Martin Scorsese, uh, Francis Ford Coppola, those people. And the similarity here is that uh, they were, I, I guess it's not totally the same, but those directors, those filmmakers, they were the types of people, the types of filmmakers who, they were one of the first generations to have actually studied film because prior to that, film was just a thing that people did for fun, really. I mean, of course, there was money to be made off it, but it was new enough that nobody had established any sort of uh, any any sort of like study of it until these guys started going to school for it. And so. I find myself in a similar position here where <laughs> given when I started doing this sort of thing, I am, I am definitely in a spot where I started watching other people do this sort of thing. And then I started making my own stuff. Oh, he's already down. Cool. All right. Let's try not to get hit by the big guy while we kill this guy. Okay. All right. Let's separate you two. Oh, you two showed up out of nowhere. You weren't here before. 
I'm just gonna back up until someone decides to turn around. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm in a position to where I've seen other people do this and other people make a living off this, and now I'm trying to do the same uh, by kind of kind of by studying what they're doing, and that's kind of one of the things you hear about those people in you know documentaries and stuff the the filmmakers the movie brats not necessarily myself uh although this probably applies again and the point i'm making is that it applies about as much to me is that they were the type of people who were like oh man how did they do that and then they actually tried to figure out you know how how things were done and tried to imitate it and so yeah that is what am I looking at here? Oh, hey, what's up? One, two, three, good. That is something that, uh, yeah, applies to me too, is that I, in watching these people, I'm not just watching them. I'm also trying to figure out like, oh, what's made them successful and stuff. And that's part. You know, the fact that I find that interesting is not dissimilar to out the, the, the some of the most well-known names in the movie industry. Again, I'm not trying to make a statement about the quality of my work, quote unquote work, but um, it's just something I noticed, just something I noticed. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, the parallels between... the film industry and what's happening now on YouTube and Twitch and all that. Where is this? What is this area? I opened up a gate, but I have no idea which gate this is. Uh, oh, I see a guy there. Is this what the bad guy was? It is, isn't it? Also, there's a raven over here. Nope. Okay, guys, I'm gonna need y'all to separate a little bit. Yeah, this is where the guy who took me to Yahar Ghoul was. He's not there anymore, luckily. I think I killed him? I don't remember. Oh, nope, he's right there. Nope, we're not fighting you. Uh, okay, yeah, so we opened up a passage back to the church. Nice. That's cool. I'm gonna go back to the dream. Uh, and maybe we'll talk more about the similarities between the industries next time. Cause uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. Would you look at that framing?